Hello there, this is Nathan Agan, and welcome back for another season of The Working Actor's Journey, bringing you in-depth conversations with actors that have been working professionally for decades. Coming up in the next round of interviews, actors that continue to work in all different mediums. We got a Tony winner with plenty of on-screen work, an actor-slash-playwright who has worked around the country, a Shakespeare actor who ran his own theater and appears in several big movies, an actor with over 400 TV and film credits, plus years of theater, and a voice you've probably heard reading books to you. It's okay to be an artist, because I think I'd said earlier on, you know, I was professional and being an actor wasn't for grown-up people. And and I think that made me realize it, it doesn't matter that, <laughs> that whether I consider it's grown-up people or not, it's essential for my soul that I um, throw myself into this. And it was at that point when I said, you know, no, I'm going. I, I'm not an actor, but I'm going to be. Now, the credits of the guests I just shared are outstanding. And still, each of these actors has had ups and downs, highlights and frustrations. What we're getting at are the actual and real paths of artists and creatives. These guests have been around, they've kept working, and they've figured out some things along the way. There are still challenges. It's not all easy at this point, but they've learned what they need to do to keep going. The mental game of being an actor long term and how to do the work at a professional level. And what you'll hear is that there is not only one way to do this. You'll hear lots of perspectives and approaches. So take what resonates for you. These guests can be mentors for you. They can be your personal board of directors, guiding you, inspiring you, and leading you forward. This is Asia, and I don't think it's a good idea if I try and be a Beijing opera star here in Asia when I'm not a dancer and I'm an American. <laughs> I'm just really trying to weasel out of it. And then our Beijing opera choreographer, who was from China, put his hand on my shoulder in front of everyone and said, I have confidence that you can do this. And so then I had to do it. <laughs> I also have some bonus interviews and other special items ahead, so stay tuned. Now, a quick personal item. I'll be taking a pause in what we'll call the middle of the season because I'm getting married next year, and honestly, I want to be mentally present for that and really enjoy the time leading up to it. So that's why this might feel a bit shorter. But don't worry, there is plenty for you to listen to. There are wonderful conversations ahead that cover a lot of ground. Not to mention the 20-plus episodes already available. The other reason for a pause is that I've been working on a second podcast for actors, and I've been looking at when I can put that together and release it. So that space next year might be the time I need. Of course, after the wedding, right? So, thank you for that indulgence, and back to the show now. Another thing that is very cool to me about these guests is the direct connection we get to some of the giants of the theater and acting world. Their teachers and mentors and co-workers have been some of the legendary artists we've all heard of. Most of us have only ever read what they said or taught, and here you get to learn firsthand from actors who were there in the room with them. People like Sanford Meisner, or Samuel Beckett, or Stella Adler. The fact that she stopped me cold in my tracks and said, I don't believe you. You're acting. And I'm thinking, what does she mean by you're acting? And, you know, when people do talk about my work, they're so, you're just so natural, it just doesn't seem like you're acting at all, because I'm very conscious about that, not pretending, but being. So that is just a quick look of what is ahead, and I'm really excited to share all of these with you. Be sure to subscribe to find out who these voices are, and to hear so much more. Visit WorkingActorsJourney.com for show notes and all your working actor needs. You can follow the show on Instagram, which is probably where I'm the most active. And we're also on Facebook and Twitter. 
You can even become a premium member for just $2 per month and get exclusive access to additional episodes and other bonus content. There's more coming that way for members, and you can join at workingactorsjourney.com slash premium. I'll see you in a couple weeks for the start of Season 3. I'm Nathan Egan, and enjoy the journey.